Hey YouTube, how you doing? Kid Zippo here. Well, it's been a hell of a week. Uh, temperatures have been up there and humidity's been up there and I just feel like a, well, a fried egg on the sidewalk. That pretty much, I mean, the heat index today was supposed to get up to about 105. I don't know if it actually did or not, but, you know, I'm just pooped. Well, I got my uh, ambidextrous mag release in the mail. Um, I went ahead and I opened it up just to make sure that's what it was. <laughs> and uh, I got the red because, you know, hey, I'm all about a splash of color, right? And as you can see, got the nice little extended um, push button for the mag release. Then you got the other side here with uh, and it all works really nice at least it looks like it uh, looks like it takes a couple of small allen screws over here which I have this for and uh, spring yeah spring goes free I uh, got it on eBay for, uh, what was it, $11.99 or eleven ninety seven or something like that? Anyway, I might not have to take that out, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to find out. So like I said, oh, look at that. Comes with this fancy little, looks like it's got tor Torx bits on it. Thought it was an Allen wrench, but I might, yeah, I was wrong. It's not an Allen wrench. Can you see that? Yeah. Got a fancy dancy little uh you, you know what I'm getting at there. So we're gonna go ahead and install this bad boy. Um while we're at it. Alright, push that all the way in with this. Look at that. She's coming right on out of there. Hopefully I don't shoot this all over the place when I take that uh, head off it. See how much I got left. Not much. And there it is. Release that. Capture the spring. There we go. That was simple enough. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys watch the Palmetto State website or not, but they're having what they're calling Freedom Week. It's another uh, mass sale on just about everything they sell. So, usually... Okay, this is a Diamondback, right? Okay. Usually they're... Uh, Freedom Classic, yeah, Freedom Classic lowers are $130, okay? Now, they're, they're no different than this one here, except, you know, Palmetto State, okay? And uh, I've decided that I want to build a new, um, uh-oh, yeah, okay, I got to take that apart. Uh, then I want to build another AR but I don't want it in 223 or 556. So I bought the lower. It's a multi-caliber lower. And uh, I'm just not sure if I want to do 300 blackout because, you know, ammo is very expensive. Or if I want to do the 762 by 39. You know, the AK round. Um, because I'd, I'd really, I really liked, you know, the AK round. You know, I had an SKS and it just shot fabulous. And, okay, there's one. And, you know, to tell you the truth, there we go. 
I, I, you know, being a cheap ass like I am, y'all hear me? Ah, there was a keeper in there. Ah, all right. I'm not, you know, not really uh, wanting to pay, you know, a hundred thousand dollars every time I go to the range. All right, there we go. For ammunition, unless I start reloading. Because then I, you know, I'd go with, if I'm going to start reloading, I'll go with the 300 blackout because it's supposed to be, you know, you don't even need different um, magazines. I mean, the 300 blackout is the same thing as, you know, um, 5.56 five, mags and, you know, all that stuff. And, all right. Oop, oop, oop. Spring, stay there. Don't be falling down. Okay, now. Set you, oops. Might help if I actually got it in there, right? Come on. Over you go. Over you go. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to set you back down. Looks like you're in there. My Loctite. Get one of my little uh, handy dandy little daubers here. I know I got some left over from, uh, ah, there it is. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, and I did manage to pick up some more, too, so. I really like those things. Those are handy. Anyway, getting back to what I was talking about. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to build my own upper in the 762 by 39 so you know um, I guess right, uh, plastic, plastic, there we go alright there it is. Oop, got it on my finger. Oh no! I don't want to wipe it on my... Anyway. Come on, come on. Give me a little ball of it there. Apparently it's not going to work like that. So. I'll just dip the end of one of these in there and screw it back on. That's if I can dip. Because you don't need a whole lot of this stuff, from what I remember, last time I used it anyway. And plop it in there. There you go. Okay. Get my little handy dandy little Allen wrench back here. Insert and insert. Just that simple. Tighten her down good. Okay, now, as you all know, I got the other uh, videos to do for uh, you know, the scope I just got, and come on. Oop, damn, I just laid it right in there. Well, let's get this one in there first, and then we'll... Uh, 
Then we'll get the other one going. Okay, that's in. No, 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 don't fall off. Alright, there we go, get that started. No, nope, no, nope, don't cross thread it. Dummy, come on. There we go. And come on. I'll have to grab a mag because I didn't grab one before. The all my mags are still full because it's been so damn hot I haven't been able to go to the range. And come on. There we go. So I got the lower coming. And I'll be making you know videos with that because I'm gonna color it, you know, like I did with the It's the one from uh, the Diamondback I got, and uh, and there we go. All right, let me grab a mag and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Now, here's the metal mag that came with it. It's a uh, C Products and it works pretty good. Whoa, I just barely hit that and she fell out. Ah, that might be a problem. Well, seems to work. At least with that one, anyway. Now let's try the the P-Mag. Ah. Huh. Well, it's going to be touchy. I might have to go back to the other one, but we got to take it to the range to find out. Tight. Kind of. I mean, if you can see in there, she protrudes. Now, yeah, real nice through there. Okay, falls away. Yeah, comes back. I can't shake it out. So, alright, there's another video. <laughs> we have to take this baby to the range and see how she works. I'm hoping to get there this weekend because I want to do the, um, the scope video too. But there you are. Hey, a little flash of color. Nothing wrong with that. I just hope it works right. I mean, if I have to, I can put the other one back in. So it's all good. And uh, just so you get a good look at that. I got the extended trigger guard in there and all that stuff. I'm planning, basically I'm planning on making um, a hunting AR. That's why I want to go 30 cal. Um, the area I hunt, I, I don't hunt, you know, I don't shoot more than 100 yards anyway. So the 7.62 will be perfect. And uh, with that, I'm going to say, y'all have a good day, keep cool, and remember, pick up your brass.